Okay, so welcome to another episode of the Concord build. Apologies in advance for the noise in the background. There's a 3D printer, 3D printing, and something that's meant to be red, but it's clearly pink. At least one of the lights it is. Um, so what we're going to be making today is another one of these, which is a custom-made sort of servo mount that I made. This piece is CNC machine. So for those who don't know how this works, Coral Draw is our drawing program, so there's the two finished articles. We then export them as a DXF, we then open them in Curve Cut, which is what we use to convert our drawings into stuff that the machine actually understands. Um, so this is it. Um, you know it. Um, we then export the job as G-code. We then open it in a Mac 3 CNC, and this is a machine that actually does it this is telling us where it is right now, so you can see it's going there across the top. The one on the right. This is the uh, uh, yeah. Let's look at how this tiny CNC works. It is the same thickness as the skin that's going to be on Concord, uh, and it's T for top, not L for left. But it's T for top. Um, so that's actually for this wing. We're now going to be doing the other way, which has got teeth top on. So what we need is we need one of these pieces. We need our um, this needs putting into this. Doesn't need a light filing on these square holes. Um, then cutting to length. So I've got servo. I didn't pay that much for it. I just paid about 13 quid for them. Um, and we'll end up with something like this, which is ready to uh, be built into the machine. You then basically have to build like um, a wooden plate for this to fit into. Um, so that it can then uh, be screwed into the wing, but uh, yes, we shall uh, proceed onwards. Right, once again apologies for the noise, but we do now have two completed servo doodars. So we've got some 6mm bolts here, which I'm just going to run across the back of here and then at the back of there, wherever it, it fits. If you look at the plan, it only has it sort of halfway across on the front. But to my life, he's going to do it all the way across and all the way across. And uh, shout out to extra strength as well. Uh, and I don't see any reason why that would cause a problem. So fingers crossed it won't. I might just sort of this first, you know, not glue this in quite as well. Uh, so you can get it out a little bit easier if needed. But um, And then I can work out where right along here I actually need to uh, have the servo. Um, but yeah, I've tricked the servo movement. Um, and if these are 100 100 maybe I might have to knock them down to 90 90 but um, it's really not far off that's on the ATVs so that I need to try and get a bit of sandpaper on there but we should be fine okay so the way I worked out this is it's just a 6mm piece of balsa across the front and then did the size for the back one based off of the, the distance behind this basically and bolted it in it works so now we just have to do the same thing over on uh, this side um, and obviously shooting would go all the way around this to lock it in place um, it's 20 mil from this servo head to the inside of this piece of wood that's what I'm basing it off of so time to cut more wood, glue more wood and basically do what I've been doing ever since I started this process and uh, see so where we go from there okay so as you can see that's a very long print by the way, apologies for the noise uh, these are now both screwed in on both sides our next step is to remove the two steps off of each side of the trailing edge and then smooth the transition from the leading edge uh, bottom onto the wing ribs with a bit of a sand so we'll do that next <laughs> 